wake up, babe. New Swifty delusions just dropped. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and I am the Swiftologist and I make thoughtful content about pop culture. Today, I'm gonna try and make something thoughtful out of something that is completely brainless, to be quite honest with you. Maddie Healy and Taylor Swift were just papped together for the first time. We knew that he'd been going to the shows. We had those sneaky pictures of them taken at a party and yet people still managed to delude themselves that this was not an item and that they were not actually dating because the Swifties just clutching their pearls could not believe that Taylor did a guy like this, et cetera, et cetera. The histrionics from Swifties never ceased to amaze me, but you know, the pop pictures just dropped and we reached a level of delusion that is funny to me. And I mean, the delusion in general is funny to me, but this is like another level. And it's especially entertaining to me because a lot of the people that I'm seeing having mental breakdowns about the fact that Taylor Swift is dating Maddie Healy are the same people who were calling me a fake Swifty for being happy that her and Joe broke up because I just wanted to see, you know, what else she had in her bag of tricks. And also for, you know, occasionally streaming the stolen version. That apparently makes me pariah number one, and yet these people are out here wishing actual harm upon Taylor Swift for dating a man. For dating a man. And I suppose there are a couple of disclaimers I need to make. What I'm going to do today is react to some of your reactions because honestly, it is unhinged and unsafe to be a Swifty on the internet at the moment. The Taylor Nation is a nanny state at the end of the day, and we all suckle on the teat of Taylor Swift. And when the teat stops giving us the milk that we like to drink, what happens? The little babies get upset and they throw their tantrums and they have their complete mental breakdowns. And that's what we're witnessing. So I want to clarify a couple of things before I get into this. I'm going to try and cut out usernames where I can because I'm not trying to put people on blast like that. But at the end of the day, like these were all publicly tweeted, posted things that, you know, are in the public domain. So they're fair to be used. I want to say that, you know, your feelings are valid. Okay. Everyone who ever has ever had a feeling in the world, that feeling is a valid feeling because you felt it. I don't want to take that away from you. However, just because you have a feeling doesn't mean that I or anyone else in the Taylor Nation, or you know, in the world, but specifically in the Taylor Nation, have to validate your feelings. They can be valid, but I don't have to validate them. And should I choose not to validate your feelings, as in should I not agree that Maddie Healy is the worst person in the world and Taylor Swift needs to cancel herself and make a public statement about breaking up with him? If I don't agree with that, that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me condone the things that Maddie Healy has said or hasn't said. It simply means that I don't agree with you. Um, and you know, using your personal experience as a cudgel against other people to try and get them to shut up or to tell them that they're not allowed to have, you know, an equally valid response to your valid feeling is stupid. So if I see any of that going on in my comment section, you know the drill. I'll be blocking. I'll be deleting because this is a space for thoughtful, constructive criticism, somewhat snarky conversations about the life and times of Taylor Swift and other pop culture figures that I deem to be interesting. So, now that we have that disclaimer out of the way, I also wanted to touch a little bit on the dehumanization of Taylor Swift that's going on at the moment, because I, I seriously don't understand why we're getting our knickers in a twist about this so much, like to this degree. It doesn't make sense to me that people are saying they're going to stop streaming. They're going to sell their tickets. They're not going to wear their merch anymore. They are really taking this to a level of seriousness that it doesn't need to be at. And as I said in my last video, I'm here for the mess. I'm here for the lulls. I'm here to guffaw at the buffoonery. And that is what I'm doing. I refuse to engage seriously in a should Taylor be dating this person or should she not? Because human beings are complex and messy. We don't fall neatly into boxes. We often don't fall in love with the right people, right? You don't have a lot of control over who you fall in love with. I think personally that, you know, I would throw the question of why would she date someone who has all of this history back at you and ask you how thorough your background checks are on the people you go on random Hinge or Tinder dates with. How thorough? Are you really going back through 10 years of tweets to see if they potentially said something problematic? I mean, I know that these things are allegedly well documented for Maddie Healy, and I will say that there are counterpoints to every single thing that is being alleged about him. Either way, he's literally being made out to be the devil. There is a difference between Taylor dating someone like, I don't know, Mike Pence or Tucker Carlson or Osama bin Laden versus her dating someone like Maddie Healy, who is just kind of messy and puts his foot 
put in his mouth a lot. That's my take on what his uh, accountability and culpability looks like in all these situations that he's gotten himself into. That's my valid feeling. If you have a valid feeling that is different to that, you are free to hold that feeling, but do not try and bludgeon me over the head with, well, high and mighty nonsense. I'm sick and tired of it. This is something else that I'm interested in. It's a strictly Swifty phenomenon, but there is a huge, insane, I don't even like to use this term because I think it gets taken out of context a lot, but social justice warrior complex that Swifties have. Everything is about doing the right thing, doing what Taylor wants, doing the good thing, holding people accountable. And you know, that goal depends on whoever is speaking. It depends on who's feeling what on any given day. And we're all expected to just capitulate to people who share their insane feelings because they have a feeling in the first place. That doesn't make sense to me. And the moral posturing and the virtue signaling of, well, I'm the most upright standing Swifty in the Taylor nation by, you know, condemning Taylor for dating some guy. Um, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't fly with me. That hashtag not my Taylor nation. I don't want to be in cahoots with you. So let's go through some of these reactions, which are disproportionate. Let me just warn you in advance and discuss the mental illness that went into creating them. Also a big shout out to all of the Discord users for collating these tweets and TikToks for me so that I didn't have to, you know, go out and actively seek them myself. I do have a Patreon for my podcast, The Evolution of a Snake. We just uploaded a new episode, 2016 Part 2, which is, you know, chronicling the life and times of Taylor Swift through each year of her career. We redid the logo, our Patreon is going swimmingly, and our newest edition is a Discord. And the Discord is... <laughs> the best Swifty space on the internet. If you like non-brain dead conversations about the life and times of Taylor Swift with a little mess, a little kiki, then that is the place to be. And this is where I got all of these tweets, et cetera, from. So thank you to the snakes in the snake nation on the evolution of a snake discord. We love to see it. Here's an insane tweet. Taylor is not a good person. The super rich never are. Well, thanks genius. It, but it, t it only took her dating Maddie Healy for you to notice that. Hmm. Everything was fine when she was with Joe and we were talking about the private jet. That was all, that was fine. But dating Maddie makes her an evil rich person. Okay. She lives in a different reality from the rest of us and has made explicit efforts to put up that wall. I also would put up a wall between 80 million people who are trying to cancel me for dating a man. I too would be building that wall. I would be getting my bricks and laying the foundation and making sure that you were staying well the fuck away from me. I felt like a weirdo in stand spaces for loving her, but not necessarily liking her but I think I'm justified. You can only use the I love you, but I don't like you argument on your family members, people who you are obliged to love, who are you related to by blood, who you have a reason to love. You do not apply that logic to a fucking famous person. That's crazy to me. And someone responded saying, why would you stand someone if they're not a good person? And this person responded, I don't believe you have to be a good person in order to make art that resonates with me. If I did, my world would be very small. Beloved, your world is very small. <laughs> your world is very small. If this is the straw that broke the camel's back and made you think that Taylor is not a good person, I wonder. I wonder what's going on up there there. Someone else tweeted, disgusting behavior, wish them nothing but a horrible time. Well, that seems like an appropriate response to a video of Taylor leaving a venue with a man and going into a car. Seems totally reasonable. Okay. Another favorite subset of mine, of people that are freaking out about this scenario, are people that are like so obsessed with and hung up on the Joe relationship. And it's like, when this first happened, I tried to be a little empathetic towards those people because I was like, okay, well, she was with him for a long time. She wrote a lot of songs about him. I guess if you're under the age of 18 and you have no life experience, then maybe um, that's a seismic event to have them break up. But um, we're veering into delusional territory, as per usual. So this person wrote in response to pictures of Maddie at the Eras tour, you all turned on Joe so fast and switched the narrative in a blink of an eye because it's Jover. It's finished. The narrative is the narrative came to an end by Taylor Swift, written, period, dot. May I remind you that Taylor is the one saying in her lover diaries they wanted to stay low key and you were all praising that until they broke up. I am tired of this shit. And this is in response to a tweet of someone saying, six shows in a row, Maddie Healy did. Joe Alwyn could never. To this response, I say, if you love Joe Alwyn so much, 
if he's everything to you, which is astounding to me because he's nothing, he's the heirloom turkey, as I've mentioned, but if he is everything to you, go and stand him and leave us alone. <laughs> leave the Swifties alone. I'm here for Taylor. Taylor's not here for Joe anymore. And as a Swifty, it's your obligation to move on. You don't have to love Maddie Healy, but you have got to let the Joe bone go. What's in it for you? He does nothing. He is nothing. Like truly, he hasn't even really had like a starring role in anything. I don't understand what there is to glob onto. He refuses to give interviews. He's extremely private. Um, cricket, I would rather devote my life to someone who actually gives us, you know, something entertaining, some art to digest. Taylor Swift, here's another one. Let's not talk about Joe losing Taylor, but Taylor losing Joe. The only thing that Taylor is losing in this scenario is a chain around her neck, dragging her down to the pits of hell. And now she's free. So this is in response to a video of Taylor defending her fan from a security guard who was getting a little aggressive at the Eras tour. This person said, I hate that she defends her fans from this, but lets a creep like Maddie Healy who masturbates on stage in front of teenagers source. We're going to need a source. We're going to need a fact check on that. Among other terrible things near so many young women at her concerts, and he gets the VIP treatment. This is serious. This person is like implying that Maddie Healy is a predator of some description. And that is like not an accusation that you can just levy at people randomly because you want to. Like, are you going to source where you found this information? Are you going to say how you came to this conclusion? No, of course not. Of course not, because there's no nuance on the Swifternet. No, no, no. It's how I feel matters more than the reality matters more than the facts of the matter. Here's another series of tweets. I've taken a break before and it might be time again. I barely listened to her music. It didn't keep up with what was happening in her life, etc. post 1989 and came back with me and you need to calm down. So you exited the premises when she first got canceled. What you're saying is you participated in the Taylor Swift is over party. Is that true? Cricket might be time again for that. And to them, I say, don't let the fucking door hit you on the way out. Goodbye. Who wants you here? I, I don't leave a comment if you want this person in the Taylor Nation not for me. She keeps unabashedly parading him around. At this point, it's embarrassing to admit that I like her music. My opinion of her has fallen so far, most importantly, because she's being a shockingly bad ally to the LGBTQ community. I don't even know where to start with that one. Okay, first of all, if we're talking about whether Taylor is a good or a bad ally to the LGBT community, this is not the place where you want to have that conversation. This isn't the entry point to that. We could talk about the forced sincerity of you need to calm down if we were having like a good faith discussion on that, but this is not a good faith discussion. This is an, I have a feeling about this and everybody must agree with it. And I'm just going to like pause it to this being a moral issue so that I don't have to admit that I just have some sort of like weird personal hang up about this. It's embarrassing to admit that you like her music because she's dating Maddie Healy. Hmm. I don't really get why it would be more embarrassing today than it was yesterday. <laughs> Wasn't it more embarrassing when she was chartering her private jets around the world, ruining the environment? That's not embarrassing to you, but this is? It's a perspective, Swifties. Perspective. Where is it coming from? Did Maddie Healy do something to the LGBT community that I'm not familiar with? Probably. According to these people, he's literally the devil. So I'm going to say it. It's weird for Taylor to even be friends with someone like this, let alone whatever else is going on. People can do whatever they want, but that doesn't mean it's good or right. And you are the most good and right person in the world. Every single person in your life that you're friends with in your family is a beacon, a shining light of morality. You can say that with 100% certainty and confidence. I don't think so. I don't think so, my dear. I'm so perplexed by this idea of Taylor having to be everything all at once. She has to be the best pop star in the world, the best songwriter. She also has to be a humanitarian, and she has to be Mother Teresa. Like, this is not the United Nations General Assembly. She is not Ban Ki-moon doing the, you know, peacekeeping missions. She is a pop star who dates boys and writes songs about them. That is literally the job description. And she's doing her fucking job. I hate to tell you. She's literally fulfilling the like three job description requirements that she has had on her resume since the beginning of time. Um, doesn't mean that it's good or right. Who are you to say what's good and right? This is what drives me nuts. It's like every single Swifty is the judge, the jury, and the executioner of what's good and right in this world. 
I'll take my morality from other places. I don't need a pop star to inform me how to live my life. I don't need a pop star to tell me what's good and what's right in this world. And if you are looking to Taylor Swift to fill all of those roles in your life, then you need to get some help. (laughs) Some of them are just really funny. Am I the only one who thinks that it's unfair and rude to dedicate a song that she wrote about the person who literally saved her when she was in a dark place to someone else just like that? I'm sorry, who owns these songs? Haven't we been through a whole thing about ownership, about artist rights, about control, about Taylor having control of her own destiny? She wrote the fucking song. She wants to change who it's for. If she wants to dedicate it to someone else, she wrote it. It's hers to do that with. And what you think about it doesn't matter. Okay, here's a really wild one. I knew this was coming. She would still rather be seen and associated with a racist, Islamophobic, misogynistic, predatory scumbag of the earth human. She deserves the backlash. She is lacking in the morals department right now. This is so gross. The fact that you would say something like that at all is so weird to me. I'm literally in awe of this comment. Like, I don't know how even to like approach how insane and disproportionate this is. Can I stress to you, this is because she was photographed with a man. Like, it is not that serious. And wishing bad things upon her does not make you a good person. It doesn't make you the best Swifty. It doesn't make you the most moral Swifty. It makes you an insane person. Um, So if that's what you're going for, then congratulations, babe. You slayed. Some of them are so funny to me and like obviously written by 12 year olds. Joe Alwyn became the best support in the darkest era of her life, 2016, 2017. I hope the man she is currently dating one day hurts her too. I don't know where Tay Tay the brain is stored. It's Jack Antonoff fault. Hope his fiance is having an affair. Playing dress. (laughs) This is nonsense. This is complete nonsense. And the thing is, is that like, Taylor is kind of partly responsible for people feeling that they are entitled to have an opinion over her love life just because she like trained us over the years with the liner notes, et cetera, to be interested and to be actively like doing investigations and trying to figure out who is and trying to figure out what is about who. But this is an unintended consequence that I don't think even can be explained by Taylor has manufactured interest in her love life. Like this is, I think, late stage internet brain rot. That's that's what this is. This isn't coming from any sort of like logical place. On Reddit, we had a mental health check in and the post said, please keep things civil. I know there's been a lot of thoughts, opinions, disappointments and anger over the last few days regarding Taylor and her new relationship. I'm also noticing that this sub isn't quite as active as it usually is. So this Reddit thread is more concerning to me because it is operating from what seems to be a logical place. It's like validating the fact that people are so upset and genuinely mentally upset by this information. Here's a comment on that thread. I'm so sorry, especially if you hadn't had your tour date yet and will now have it spoiled by this. Imagine having your era's tour date spoiled by Maddie Healy. You're fake. Sell me your ticket, bitch. Sit at home if it's that upsetting to you. It's so disheartening to know you've dedicated so much time, emotion, and money. Did someone force you to be a Taylor Swift stan? Did someone someone put a gun to your head and say you have to be a Swifty? You have to buy all this shit. You have to go to every show. You have to spend your entire life talking about her on the internet. That was a choice that you made. We just love to abdicate personal responsibility in this fandom. We like throw it up to God and we say, you know, all of these things are happening to me. Poor me. The victim complex. Mm -mm -mm. It's real. I feel so embarrassed and gross being her fan because of this. And I'm not part of any of the groups he spoke about. I can't imagine how fans like you and other marginalized groups must feel. I truly don't know what she or her team could possibly be thinking. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. She's doing it. And it's a betrayal to so much of her fandom and something we should all be disgusted by. You hear that, everyone? Knock, knock, knock at home. You're listening. You should be disgusted by these photos of Taylor and Maddie Healy exiting a recording studio. Uh, cricket. How many times can I say insane in this video challenge? I mean... Again, these are more concerning because they are like kind of written in some sort of reasonable tone, but you should always know that the deepest crazy lurks between those kinds of comments. Here is another comment. This is a very privileged take. (laughs) Check your Swifty privilege because you're going to tour, but I'm trying to not think too hard about it until after my concert next week. Taylor Swift cancellation postponed until I get my money's worth. I have spent a lot of time, energy, and money on this concert, and there's no way I will be able to get back what I paid for the ticket anyway. Yes, you could. Yes, the hell you could. The resale market is crazy right now. 
I'll give you double. I'll give you double. If it's for Chicago night one or two, I will give you double. DM me. So I'm trying to enjoy the last moments of thinking about Taylor Swift uncritically as much as I can. Thinking critically does not mean that you have to cancel someone or that you have to stop liking someone that you're interested in or that you have to completely, you know, block yourself off from having them part of your ecosystem. It doesn't make sense to me that in order to be the right, the moral, the good, the upstanding Swifty, you have to swing from either she's never done anything wrong in her life to she's a witch and we need to burn her. Like, it just... I don't understand the extremities in this fandom. I can't say that I stream stolen version of Holy Ground, but people are getting away with saying this, that they're disgusted by Taylor and everyone else should be too. The fakery is everywhere. Here's, here's a report from someone who went to the show and was super upset by it. I went last night and said and did the exact same thing. I poured so much into that concert. It's a concert. It's a concert. It's not a pilgrimage. It's not a hike. It's not even a marathon. It is an event, a fun thing that you chose to attend that nobody forced you to go to. Anyway, and I just wanted to enjoy the thing I've been planning and looking forward to for half a year. I also realized how privileged and narrow it is. So these people are thinking, they're like surveilling themselves in their own heads being like, well, I, I shouldn't really be singing along to Enchanted. And yet the second it comes on, it's this night is flawless. Um... You know what? You're just posturing. All of these people are just virtue signaling at each other that they are the good and the right Swifty. Best believe they are not stopping streaming. They did not sit there with a sour puss on their face at the Eras tour. No, they're being, they're performing for the congregation and it's gross. Here's another comment on this thread. I just want to send you some love. I'm going next week too and it's hard to describe how the wind has been taken out of my sails. Oh my God. Go outside. I have been so excited and working so hard on my outfit and friendship bracelets, and now I'm trying to muster up the energy to care. If all it took to break the spell of you looking forward to this concert for so long, spending money on it, putting time into it, as you said, if it only took a picture of her with a man circulating on the internet to break that for you, then I guess you were never really like a, that big of a Taylor Swift fan to begin with. I guess that you were kind of not a real Swifty. Someone posted a photo saying, another angle of Taylor and Maddie leaving the studio. Completely harmless, innocuous tweet sharing an image. Response, he deserves to get hit by a car. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. For what? For what? Okay, you want some, you want something really crazy? Here's an Instagram post. I found out Taylor is dating Matt Healy of some strange unknown band. Cricket some strange unknown band. Okay. I have never been this enraged. I mean, I knew she would never find someone as amazing as Joe. This really shows what kind of a woman Taylor Swift is if she started to whore around this quickly after her breakup with Joe. Joe literally saved her. He cured her eating disorder. I'm not even, I'm not even going to read the rest of this because it's fucking unhinged. And I just want, I really think that the Reddit Swifty people need to understand that like your comments that you're making are in line with this kind of thing. Like this is the train of, this is the train that your comment gets on and arrives at eventually once you let the, the, the mob tell you how to think, feel, and react, this is the place that you will inevitably end up. So, I mean a bunch of outrageous statements in there. I don't even think I need to refute them because they are like so clearly and obviously fucking out of this universe insane. Here's a string of tweets from a couple people. I've really lost so much respect for Taylor over the last few weeks. Like I'm actually disgusted. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Why is she doing this right before MetLife? Like she couldn't let me live in peace a little bit longer. Oh, I see. So Taylor's not a real human. She's a dancing monkey to you. She's just supposed to get up on stage and dance around and clap her hands and never do anything wrong in her life or else you're disgusted. That's how we're doing this? Okay. This is dehumanizing. That Taylor is supposed to, you know, embody and uphold your idea of perfect morality 24 hours a day is literally unhinged behavior. No human being can perform that for you. And I guess this is a symptom of parasocial relationships because we begin to project and we start to think that celebrities are different kinds of beings. Celebrities are humans. They are fallible. They make mistakes. They do terrible things. Uh, they can right those wrongs. They can make more wrongs. Uh, it is an imperfect science, this whole thing, being a human. But um, Taylor Swift is, in fact, a human. Yeah. Fun fact. And the response to this is from someone 
who was a Joe Alwyn stan. And the response to this is, I'm barely even excited for Speak Now TV anymore, and it's her own damn fault for pushing whatever she has with this man in our face. First of all, the person that wrote this, you weren't around when Speak Now came out. I know that for a fact. You joined when Folklore came out. So you don't really have any right to be excited for Speak Now TV in the first place. Not for you. But Maddie Healy making you less excited for it. Okay, so don't stream it. Don't stream it. 